Job had lost everything. The windshield has been gone. The windshield has been shattered. The cracks are spreading, and the nose has been broken of the plain of Job's pilgrimage in this thing called life. Job is going through it, and the Bible lets us know he's lost everything. His ten kids have been funeralized. He has lost all of his possessions, and now his body is broken, and the Bible lets lets us know, having lost everything, uh, that three of his friends now come uh, in order to comfort Job. But when they see Job, uh, they had heard about his pain, uh, but they had not seen him for themselves. And when they see Job, the Bible says they are aghast with shock. They've never seen such a hideous and a horrifying sight. They are blown away by the suffering that Job is enduring. Uh, the Bible lets us know that Job... Uh, then speaks, and before you know it, they begin to judge Job with their theological stances. That blows me away right there. Job has lost everything. Job is a prisoner of poverty, and they are judging him. Is that not what we do to people who are impoverished and in pain? We judge their choices, even though we're clueless about their options. And I'm simply trying to say, when you know God for yourself, don't don't just spend your life trying to encourage people to beat the odds. If you are fighting for justice, you want to change the odds so everyone has equality of opportunity. And my brothers and sisters, oftentimes we judge shamelessly those who shamefully, I should say, those who are impoverished. I look at our beloved area in which we live and, and, and beautifully we see wonderful buildings going up. These two these wonderful glass skyscrapers that are appearing uh, to touch the turquoise sky. I hope those glass, uh, those glass skyscrapers can see in their reflection uh, the sad reality that Dallas is one of the leading cities in the nation when it comes to kids in poverty. That is a sin and a shame. It's a sin, my brothers and sisters, that we have a school system in this state and in this district that majors in testing, therefore minoring in teaching, and we have seemingly forgotten the wisdom of William Butler Yates, because Yates declared that education is not filling up a bucket, it is lighting a fire, and we're spending so much money trying to make sure everybody's bucket is filled with the same testing information instead of lighting their fire to become what God would have them to become. You don't train, you don't test. To, to, well, we, we made the mistake of, of training kids instead of educating kids. There's a difference between education and training. You train a dog. Sit. Sit. Here's your reward. You get the most points on the test. Go. Here's your reward. You get the highest score on the test. That's training. Our kids are not animals to be trained. They are humans. And the word education, if you I got to educate some folk who are pol politically in positions of power and trying to run education systems, education in the Latin, it means to call out of you what's already inside of you. Education presupposes you already have something God has placed inside of you. And in education, you pull out of that kid what God 
God has placed in that kid. Quit trying to feel the pale and light their fire. Let this church come experience.